This is an inverted pendulum on a cart. The arm is free swinging and is controlled only by the sliding base. It can handle disturbances like being shaken and is also programmed to correct for drift. We can see this by pushing it to the left and after some time it changes direction to go back to the center of the rail. But how does it work? Well, we have to start with basic control theory. We have one input and one output. The rotary encoder, which measures angle change, is epoxy to the cart. The timing belt, which is spun by the motor, moves the cart. The data feeds to an Arduino Uno. We also have a stepper motor driver and a DC power supply. But the question is, how does it know where to go? For that, we have a PID controller. That stands for Proportional Integral Derivative. If you never took calculus, that's okay. We'll start simple with proportional. We can set our target angle to straight up. Then for every unit of angle we are away from the target, we correct with one unit of velocity from the cart. For example, for every degree of error, we can move the cart at one mile per hour. The derivative portion measures the angular velocity by taking the change in angle and dividing by the change in time. This is helpful because it accounts for momentum. Let's say the pendulum is spinning clockwise and reaches a vertical position. The proportional controller will report no error because it's pointing straight up. The derivative controller makes a correction preemptively. Finally, we have the integral controller. This works by summing error over time. We can visualize this with a graph. The area under the line represents the integral. The purpose is that when we drift towards one side, the integral portion grows and brings us back to the center. P, I, and D are then summed together to form an output signal. If you're interested in making one of these on your own, check the description for some of the parts I used. If you want to hear more from me, you can hit subscribe, but either way, thanks for watching.